Hello. Like somebody sent us an email or something? Oh, hey Leon, you're still in this game. Sherry. I still have a few loose ends to take care of. I'm counting on you. What does that mean? Stop being vague. Let's, let's go through Leon's mind right now. Now he's gonna rescue some girl he doesn't know, who's infected with something that he doesn't know about because he hasn't met the G virus creature yet. So he must be rude. How did he even get down here in the first place? We took the only trolley down. Just stumbling around and found himself in the lab that's now self destructing. No, no, you don't. since the door to the bottom platform is still locked. Anyway, up the weird plant creature thing goes. Up. 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 Quickly, quickly, quickly. Oh, I forgot you guys are here. So now let's go back to that first corridor where the frozen door was. Because that's where we need to be. We can also register our fingerprint while we're there for the scenario. Switch in order to open up here. And there's the thumb scanner. So we put in our fingerprint. And now it will ask for the secondary one. Which we do not have. Because we've only got one, th one thumbprint. the lab card key, get rid of that, and allows us to go and grab the base vaccine. Okay, vaccine cartridge. So there's some grenades on the table there. Yes, we'll take those. Switch. Aha, got you both. Okay, put the base cartridge in there. And then, oh no. Take the Mo Disc. Sadly, we do not have to find three Mo Discs in order to rescue Jill. That would be really interesting. Let's activate this thing. But yeah, it's in there. Now activate it. Oh, it must be over here or something. Here we go. Start up the VAM. I have no idea what VAM start stands for, but uh, I'm assuming it means something good. Okay, let's grab our ba base vaccine. 
luckily that whole thing about it being you know, agitated by slight shocks and change of temperature it doesn't mean anything. It's not like you have to remake it if you break it or something. Okay, let's quickly get back to that laboratory where we blew up all those zombies. And we're almost done with the game, folks. Literally the final 10% of the game is here. Done it without duct tape. This game is a lot easier playing through than the first Resident Evil. We have to worry about the. Well, in my own defense, I did kind of make that a lot harder on myself than doing my playthrough of it when I chose not to use any healing light. But no, I didn't choose to use any weapons or use the Magnum or use a shotgun or anything like that. It kind of made something a little, little bit more difficult here. I have a feeling this would be a lot harder if I was only trying to go for a handgun only run. I have to do that sometime. Let me figure out how streaming works and see if I can do like a handgun only run in this game. Hello. That uh, wouldn't be a Resident Evil game about the naked zombies. Oh, I'm trying to see if I can blow his head off or something. Leg off doing that. Can you use the MO disc on this? Verification. So that's our door out of here, but we're not going to be able to go through there unless we get our vaccine first. So rush, deep, rush, deep, rush, rush, rush. Let's quickly make our vaccine up. Then we can get out of here. Fall around here, so don't have to worry about running into anything. Quickly, quickly, quickly. And use that vaccine. No, I do need to use it right now. Boost vaccine in. Make ourselves a nice vaccine. Push the switch. Just kinda hums a little bit and turns it black. Or green, I think it is. Is it blue? Okay, we got the vaccine. That replaces our lockpick, so we cannot get rid of it. Yes, to make sure you yet you actually had the inventory space for it. Get out. Well, let's go through that door we unlocked with the ammo disc. And we'll find ourselves, see if we can find ourselves a way out of here before the self destruct actually starts self destructing. Because it's been trying to tell us to go self destruct for about 10 minutes now. Science. It's funny because this game is called Biohazard in Japan. Ooh, we found ourselves in a nice big boss arena here. 
five minutes until oh. detonation. It's actually become a self-destruct si system now. And there's no way back. Okay, big button. Press the big button. Huge lift to use to reach the bottom platform. Let's activate it. Oh, it's gonna be one of those elevators. It's gonna be a plot one. Because we ain't going anywhere until we deal with him. Is the elevator spelt gone wrong on the floor there? The elevator spelt with an O. Acid. So, this is William Birkin in his final form. Well, final form for the gay scenario. He's not done yet, folks. Because he decides that for this part he's gonna go a bit Final Fantasy. And he's gonna go full one winged angel on us. Turn into some weird giant toothed dog creature. With a xenomorph head. He's still got that eyeball on his shoulder though. I've no idea what that's seeing. Ow! It's a dog. It's a Dog pile on me. He's got an eye on his back as well. Oh god, we're out of acid. Ow. No, 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 no. Don't, don't you die on me yet, Clip. Whoa, that was danger. Okay, let's get ourselves our flame rounds. the spark shot with me. That might have helped. Ah, set that one fire again. Okay, we're hurting, but we're not too bad. Oh, missed your pants there, buddy. Got him! So we get for missing. Melt him down. That's what you get for trying to live. Thank you, plot elevator. You turned up just in time. Just one more for the road. Anyway, let's get ourselves down to that bottom platform. Three minutes on the clock. Not even that. There's the train. And we did it. We we are done. And we get FMV. And Claire's changed outfits between transitions. And oh, what happened to Leon? Where's he bloody? Well, oh, nearly got your head taken off there, Leon. To your shoulder. Oh, sure. Sure, just took a tumble. Not sure why Leon's dog piled on her, but um. Sherry's unconscious. Pretty sure she, made, she was unconscious from the hit on the floor. This has got nothing to do with the with the virus.
to find my brother. You're right. This is just I have to find me. my brother too. Ah, my God has protected you. It will always be with you. Oh yeah, I think that was very, 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 uh, Claire. you know, set up. As in, I mean, was never set up in the first place. So yeah, there is the Claire scenario done and dusted. There we go, so there's a nice little ending music here. And there's our credit roll. So, Resident Evil 2, a classic of the PS1 generation, not ex not exactly as scary or as, you know, f suspenseful as the first game, but still a great, fun game all around. A few design issues here and there, like the whole Sherry following you thing, and the normal trappings of, you know, tank control games if you can't really get used to them. But overall, this is a very, very fun game, and I recommend it to anybody interest in the PS1 or in horror games or to see where the Resident Evil series has been. I mean, there's a reason why this is considered the high point of the series, which says a lot about your series when you peak at number two. But of the classic Resident Evils, this is probably, this is, I'd say this is my favourite to play, but Resident Evil 1 is still my favourite Resident Evil game overall. Like just from, you know, suspense, design, uh, just pretty much everything about it, it makes it a really great horror game. This is where the series kind of started on that whole action, adventure, horror sort of thing. So when people start complaining about, you know, all the big explosions and action set pieces of Resident Evil 6 and that, yeah, the game has kind of had that problem since 2, so I'm not really going to complain. But, you know, still, this is a lot of fun. Very replayable. I've beaten this game dozens of times. This is probably... I can't remember, I mean, it's probably my, like, 20th time going through it, at least, on the PS1 version. And this is definitely not going to be my best time, because I, you know, actually went to the bother of reading things in this way around. Um, never did actually show off the bow gun. That's a bit annoying. Yeah, well, there's, there's a bow gun anyway. So, that was the Claire scenario. But we are not finished yet, folks. We have still got the... Leon B scenario to go through to get the other side of the story and to get the game's true ending. And there's good old Shinji Mikami and Kinji Inafune. Both Legends of Games. Both is hoping that uh, Shinji's uh, upcoming games are going to be a lot better than um, than Kenji's ones were. Capcom. Before we were terrible. Resident Evil 2. Resident Evil. -er. Alright, let's see our final rankings. How did we do? Ah, That's a very nice picture. Anyway, pick our scene. What did, how do we do? We got ourselves. Yes! Perfect. A ranking, clear on Claire A, total time at 2 hours and 23, number of saves 0. This is not my best time of the game, I think my best time was... I think I actually did it in a flat 2 hours. I've yet to get under... I think I haven't gotten under it yet, so that's definitely a goal of mine. But hey, we got an under 3 hours, so, and our reward. The Infinite Ammo Rocket Launcher. You receive less points for using a special weapon. We won't be using that in our B scenario, but we got a rocket launcher now, folks. Yeah, come on, skip forward. There we go. So, we're just going to save this up to our virtual memory card. So we can get ourselves our B scenario sorted out. And there's our Leon B. Zero zero scenario two. So we'll be doing that on our next time. So I believe it's time to end, at least for this part. So I have been Grandmaster Scott A. This has been Resident Evil 2. And I thank you so very, very much for watching. Add.
E-O-S.